TPS-ottelun ennakkohaastattelussa Rafael Spinden Before when we talk about football, I heard that you are good in different languages. You heard us. Oh, <laughs> how is your Finnish? <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah, no, thank you, thank you. Um, I'd say it's paremin, paremin, paremin yeah. per uh, muta ei ole helpo. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good. Well, what do you say? What do you? Answer if if I ask you, mitä kuuluu? Uh, mahtava, kiitos. <laughs> Se oli hyvä. It's good. Uh, okay, uh, we have had a difficult start of this season. Mm-hmm. Um, how have you experienced it? Yeah, like you said, uh, difficult is is probably the right word for it. Um, we definitely did not have the results that we expected or that we uh, were aiming for in the couple of games in the beginning of the season but there has been a, a drastic improvement uh, on the performance on the pitch and now finally also in in the results which is uh, always a very good sign because difficult times they can be an opportunity they can uh, make a team stronger because you have to stand together as a team to get out of it Because uh, it's it's never easy. If luck is against you, then it happens that the enemy hits the post and it goes in, and we hit the post and it goes out, and there are just like these little subtle things that make a difference. Um, what things are important important to you when a team is doing badly? It's very important that you actually stay together as a team. For me personally, I think it's it's the most important quality a team can have in such a difficult situation. Because nobody is there to help you. It's only you and your teammates, and your staff, and your supporters, and you have to stand together. Uh, because no no team is is gonna come here to Magnesit and just donate us some points. Yeah. So um, we, if then if everything starts falling apart, if everyone tries to do his own thing, then uh, it's probably the worst way to go about a difficult situation but if we stand together if we support each other on the field and off the field then uh, it, the chances are high that the tide's gonna turn sooner or later which which it finally did on the last game yeah we we, we took a big win last Sunday and it, it was your first clean sheet in the yes. Congrats. Yes. thank you very much <laughs> been well, waiting for that <laughs> what thoughts do you have about the, the match against Ampe? Yeah, well, we had a, a good start again, like in in the previous games, and I think what was different is that we were able to transition the, the good start, the pace that we had, yeah. into the later stages of the game, and that also we were fighting furiously to defend the lead that we had, and we we had all the the qualities needed. Uh, we were showing a lot of passion, a lot of fighting spirits. And also the the needed coolness, uh, the killer instinct in before the goal when we were on the on the penalty spots to really hurt the opponent in in these kind of situations. Uh, you got a hard blow blow the the head at at the end of the match. It's okay. Yeah, thank you very much. It's, <laughs> it's, it is okay. Yeah, yeah, it was a good thing that I was wearing my helmet. So, yeah. yeah, that's that's exactly the occasions that I'm wearing it for. Yeah. Because otherwise, I I think I would have seen a hospital of Helsinki from the inside. <laughs> yeah. has, that? Um, has the victory reflected in this week's ra- practice? Yeah, it definitely, definitely has so far. Yeah, yeah, a win always brings you a lot of positive emotions, yeah. and it also makes it easier to to work hard because you're finally yeah you have a little bit pressure off your shoulders. Not not necessarily pressure from outside, but also from yourself because we as a team. We knew that we can turn it, but you start to feel like you want to turn it. You want to get that first win of the season uh, with every game that that comes in your way. So uh, it definitely makes things easier uh, to to work hard and to have a good atmosphere also um, besides the pitch. So I would definitely agree that this has an impact. Yes, of course. Uh, let's talk a moment about your time in Finland. Um, You are arrived in Finland in January. Mm-hmm. Um, how how has your time here been? It's been a very very cool journey so far. There have been many many experiences that I was uh, privileged to make 
which I would have otherwise never made probably when, when, I, was, uh, when I would have stayed in Switzerland, for example. Uh, I've experienced Finnish winter. <laughs> it was really bad. Uh, I, was, I was a little bit shocked. Uh, the amount of snow was mind-blowing. And also, people keep telling me that yeah, the summer's gonna be warm, but I don't, I don't think I've seen or experienced that yet. Maybe you know, it's June and it's like 15 degrees outside. So, but now it's sunny. It's sunny at least. Yeah, it hasn't been sunny the past days. So. Yeah, maybe, maybe I don't know. Maybe people more. keep telling me lies. I don't know. I have to maybe more sunny. Maybe yeah. more sunny. Uh, I have to stay on the watch here. Yeah. What do you like about Helsinki? Uh, Helsinki is, is such a, a beautiful city in like, it reminds me so much of Zurich because, uh, you know, especially the people I think is, is what makes it so cool and chill because people are very relaxed. I feel like also not, not complicated. If you're interacting with, with people in, in, in restaurants and on the street, everyone is First of all, extremely good in English, uh, extremely good English speakers. That was uh, very, very impressive. I think I haven't met anyone who was able or everyone was able to understand English so far, which is a good thing for me yeah. because it could be difficult. And the city has so many beautiful places, uh, cool cafes to sit. I was able to walk on a sea in, during the winter time. Um, so there was uh, a lot of good experiences so far, and I like the city a lot. Pego uh, Colony is a pretty small club. Mm-hmm. Um, how have you adapted to Pego and, and in your business? Yeah, you can say it's a small club, but I think what's it's exactly the thing that also makes it stand out because it's a a, a club where it feels like it is a family. Everyone like working for the club, the players, the staff, the people around the club, the supporters. It feels like it's such a such a big family where everyone is supporting each other in, in every kind of way. And this is definitely something that, that makes it special. Also, uh, from, from what I've been told, it, it has a special meaning to the people from, from Pelis as well, because it's sort of a a pride that, uh, that a, a club from, from this, from this uh, part of the city is uh, playing in, in the second league and this you, you can really feel that like people are are really supporting us because they are proud to be supporters of of Peko Golmevis and this is a very very unique spirit and I like that a lot yeah um, SK is our captain but you are one of the captains mm-hmm. uh, what does it mean to you? To be one of the captain or to have Eza as, as, uh, as our you, captain? For you, for you. For me, okay. Well, well first of all, Eza is a, a, an amazing captain. He's, he's putting so much effort to do everything for the team, off and on the pitch. And he's a true fighter and leader on and off the pitch, uh, which is very valuable for, for yeah. a team, for every team, actually, to, to have a, yeah. a captain like him. And for me, it also comes uh, a responsibility with it, because um, if it's, it's a sign of, of trust from from the players that I was uh, that I had the privilege to be elected into into the captain circle. Um, but it also means that you have to do something to actually protect the interests of the team, and also try to be sort of a sort of a instance between the, the, the coach and the team um, to, to build a bridge between, between both parties. Um, this is definitely something very interesting and a cool challenge that I, that I like a lot so far. Uh, you have now played five games in Ukraine. Uh, what kind of league is it consider, considering the level of football? It's very difficult to compare actually because I feel like the Especially in Uken and or, or Finland in general, the football that is played is a very physical one. There's a there's a lot of fighting going on. You have to do wrestle a lot with your opponents. The the tempo is high. There's a really high intensity in the games. Um, this is not necessarily the case in or that makes it stand out from from the leagues that I've played before. So it's very difficult to compare it because it's just so diff- so different um, okay. compared to to other leagues. But uh, in terms of physicality and the whole physical aspect, it's definitely one one of the best leagues that I've been in so far. 
for him. Uh, we have our, our next match on Monday, and we are traveling to Turku against uh, legal leader TPS. Uh, what are the expectations for that match? Lovely game. It's always, it's always the best game that is actually, or I feel like it's the best game to have to play against the leader. Yeah. Because, um, well, first of all, uh, of course, they, they are favorites. Uh, since we, we are like starting now to climb from the bottom of the table and they are looking at us from the top. They are also a very good team, but nevertheless, uh, I feel like in, in this league, which is what is very special is that I think everyone is able to beat everyone and especially we have the, the capacity that if we are able to bring our A game, that if we can bring our performance to the pitch, that we are able to beat any team in this league. But we have to actually do it because if we, if we don't bring the performance needed, then it's also possible to lose against every team in this league and uh, TPS is definitely one of the best teams, so um, we're trying our best. We know what's what's ahead of us, but there's also no reason to be scared because we know what we can do, what we're capable of. If we can bring it to the pitch, it's going to be a very interesting game. Thank you, Rafa. Good luck for the next games. Kitos. Thank you very much, Yusuf.